Wanna move my feet Wanna drink my wine Wanna move my feet Wanna drink my wine Wanna move my feet Wanna drink my wine Wanna move my feet What's up guys, I'm Tech Steve, and today we have for you the PK5 from LG. Now LG reached out to me to do a non-biased review on this speaker to let you guys know what it's all about. So let's get into it. The speaker has DSP settings from Meridian Technology. Well, if you guys never heard of Meridian Technology, they're actually a speaker company who makes DSP type processors to give you ultimate sound quality. In fact, they have speakers that cost in a range of $30,000, $30,000. But don't worry, this one don't cost that much. The first thing you notice about this speaker is that it has two woofers inside of it, and it also has this nice carry handle so it's easy to move around. And on the bottom of it, you're gonna find these rubberized grips that's gonna allow it to hold to any surface pretty well. On top of the speaker, you're gonna find your battery indicator as well as your power button. You're gonna find a Bluetooth button as well as your volume up and down. You have your plays pause button and this speaker can actually trigger Siri or Google Assistant by pressing and holding that down. You have clear voice for better audio and better bass response. There's also a microphone right here that you can use when making phone calls with it. To increase the bass response on each side of the speaker, you have a passive radius that moves with the music to create that better bass response. And ideal is to have this closer to a wall if you want to get the best experience. On the back of the speaker, you will find a door. And this door has a micro USB charging input. And keep in mind, this is a USB-C connector. A auxiliary input for running to non-Bluetooth devices. A reset button. And you can pair multiple speakers together. The speaker is also IPX5 splash resistant, so you can't submerge it in water, but it's okay if it gets a little bit of rain on it. It's also gonna take you about four hours to charge it and expect all the way up to 18 hours of continuous use out of it, depending on if you're using the lights or not. The speaker also has the APTX Qualcomm chip in it. And what that's gonna do for you is that while you listen to music, it's gonna have less latency. So what that's gonna do for you is that the sound quality that's coming from your phone is not gonna lose a lot of signal by the time it gets to the speaker. Also, if you're watching movies or anything, you're gonna have less chances or having that lip sync problem where someone's talking and then the audio follows right after it. Now, let me go ahead and show you how to connect to Bluetooth and then we can do some demos. I will tell you that the PX5 is compatible with any Bluetooth speaker. However, there's an application that you can get strictly on Android devices called Music Float, which allow you to control not only the lights, but also different sound qualities. So with the iPhone, you won't be able to turn the lights on and control it, but it will still play them. And there's a light button right here on the top, as you can see. So what you would do is go to your Android app store and look for music flow. And you can see right there, it is a LG product. Now let's go ahead and open it. Go ahead and allow any of the pop-ups after you read them. In order to connect a product, just go ahead and turn the speaker on by pressing and hold down the power button. Then press connect product. Once you see the LG PK5, go ahead and press on it. And now it's connected. Now the speakers will start lighting up and we can open up the application if you want to customize it. Now remember, if you have an iPhone or any other device, you can still use it. You just won't have the application to control the lights. Here's the application. At the bottom, you can select a song that you'd like to hear. Over here, you can change the lighting settings, which I was referring to earlier. You can also use this application to set up a second one. You can also change the clear voice and the bass response with the application as well. Now that everything is set up and ready to go, let's go and listen to a demo and I'll play some different types of music and so you guys can tell me what you think in the comments below.
my opinion about the sound test. Listening to it here live, it sounds really good. And the most thing I was impressed with is no matter how much bass I put through it, it didn't distort out, it sounds very clean. Now it does have these features on top for your clear voice and bass response. I played around with them and I can see a little bit of difference. When you turn the clear voice on, it basically took away from the clarity of it, made it a little more flat, so it's for bass heavy music. And the bass response is just to bring in a little bit more drum roll. But overall, it sounds really good. Now let me show you the controls on the speaker. To trigger your voice commands on Android or iPhones, just press and hold down the microphone button for about two seconds. What's the weather like today? Tonight's forecast for San Diego is 62 degrees and clear with periodic clouds. How far is it to New York City? The drive from your location to New York is 2,762.0 miles. Now let's open up the music player so I can show you the functionality. Open up Apple's Music. Now that I have the music player up, let me show you the controls. You can turn the volume up and down with the plus and minus here. And you can see it does appear on the phone itself. To play and pause, just tap the play pause button. To go to the next track, press the play pause button twice. And to go back to the previous track, press the play pause button three times. And there you have it. So here's my final thoughts about this PK5 speaker. Well, first of all, I really like the construction of it. It's made out of hard plastic, and I really enjoy that handle so you can carry it around. And it weighs about 2.7 pounds, so it's not too heavy. I also like the metal grill and the lights, so it looks very futuristic to me. Another thing I like about it is that on the back of it, you have that USB-C connection, so it's really catching up with the times, and a lot of speaker manufacturers should catch up with that. Another thing I do like about it is that you have that microphone control so you can trigger your voice commands and the fact that you can hook two of these up together makes it good as well. Now, when it comes to bad things, I couldn't really find much bad about this speaker. And if you own one and you have a bad experience, please leave a comment below because I'd like to see what you found out so I can test it. Also, if you do have questions and comments, please leave it below because I have another video to make on the bigger version. This is the PX7. And on this video, I'm going to show you how to connect them and some other things. But keep in mind, if you have any comments, go ahead and leave them below and I'll see if I can answer those questions in the next video. So if you like my kind of content, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.